Hello everyone. In this video, I like to discuss is it worth to consider LIC IPO from investment perspective rather than how LIC is bigger than everybody. It was really a challenge for me to analyze LIC and it took me one and a half week to do it. I hope you will get some useful new information from this video. I'm warning you, it will be full of numbers. First, why government is selling? This graph shows the Indian government revenue in the last three years and the estimation on FI 2022. In the last three years, government generated approximately 40 lakh crore rupees in each year and this financial year, it is expected to generate 50 lakh crore rupees which is approximately 20% of country's GDP. Now, the orange curve is the Indian government yearly expenditure which increased from 55 lakh crore rupees in 2019 to 75 lakh crore rupees in 2022. So, now they are expecting the deficit of 25 lakh crore rupees. It was only 15 lakh crore rupees in 2019. To overcome this deficit, every year government borrow money or they sell some percentage of share in the public sector company. That's how Indian government is managing the country. This year, they target to sell 1.5 lakh crore rupees of public sector company. But, so far they sold only for 40,000 crore rupees. So, they are planning to raise 80,000 crore rupees to 1 lakh crore rupees through LIC IPO. Second reason is to increase its profit margin by converting LIC into company from being it as an independent corporation. For example, last year LIC made only 2,900 crore rupees which is very low for its asset and its capacity. To understand why the profit is low, we need to understand the policies. There are two types of policy, first participating policy and second non-participating policy. Participating policy means the insurance provider has to provide percentage of profit share that generated through its assets to the policy holder along with the maturity amount. In terms of non-participating policy, the insurance provider don't need to share any profit generated through its assets. So, here I am comparing the LIC with other insurance policy providers like how much percentage of the profit they are sharing with policy holders and how much they are sharing with shareholders. In FI 2020, so far LIC, in both participating and non-participating policy, shareholders only get 5% of profit and the remaining 95% to policy holders. Whereas other life insurance company shareholders got 10% of profit in participating policy and 100% of profit generated through its assets in non-participating policy. So that's the reason why LIC's profit margin is terrible. By listing it in stock market, government changing the LIC terms now. That is, increasing the profit contribution to shareholders in non-participating policy from 5% to 100%. In line with private players, in 2024, they said they will increase the participating policy's profit to 10% for the shareholders from 5%. By doing this makes LIC's policies more cheap in line with other life insurance providers. Because at present they share more profit to the policy holders, LIC's policies are always costlier compared to its peers. Now, how the LIC is compared against the competition? The graph shows how many number of new life insurance policies written in the country for the given last 7 financial years. In the financial year 2014, LIC wrote 3.45 crores of new policies that is the highest for any given year. After that, for the last 6 years, they wrote approximately 2.1 crore new policy every year. Now in comparison, as an average between FI14 to FI17, the other private players issued around 0.63 crore new policies. But in the last three financial year, they increased to 0.71 crore new policies. Now about the premium slash amount generated through the new policy. LIC's new business premium was approximately around Rs. 80,000 crores in FI14 and it's increased to 1,84,000 crores in FI2021. 
about the other insurance providers such as SBI Life, HDFC Life, etc. All combined, they were around 29,500 crore in FI 2014 and increased that to 94,000 crores in FI 2021. The curve represents the rate of change throughout the year. The brown curve represents LIC and the purple one represents the other. As you can see, it's not that bad for LIC and it is not always losing to the competition. Though they having the lion share, they did beat the other in 3 out of last 7 years. Now let's look at the financials. I try to simplify this so we can understand like any other listed company. First, revenue. Nothing but the total premium collected plus income from investment. There are other negligible income as well. Let's ignore to make it simple to understand. In FI 2021, LIC collected total premium of 4 lakh crore rupees in the insurance policy business and 3 lakh crores from the investment. Because of all the premium collected so far in the 66 years of LIC's lifespan, they got 39 lakh crore rupees assets under management, which generates the income through dividend, bonus and interest etc. In the present financial year, first half, they collected the premium of 1.8 lakh crore rupees and 1.5 lakh crore rupees from investment. Now, the expense and benefits paid. In the first half, the operating expense is around 25,000 crore rupees, including the commission to the brokers, and LIC paid around 1.5 lakh crore rupees as benefits and bonus to the policyholders. Legislation imposes that insurance companies has to make provisions to their assets and liabilities for various financial scenarios. So, in this case, LIC allotted the mathematical reserves of 1.6 lakh crore rupees. Then the final surplus or otherwise operating profit. In this present financial year first half, LIC made only 3000 crore rupees. How LIC operating expense compared to others? There is a wrong propaganda. LIC got the higher number of brokers than all other insurance provider combined. And because of that, their business operation is costly. But it is not true. Have a look at the graph. In the last 6 years, LIC's operating expense is always at least 5% less of total premium collected than all other insurance providers. Now, the valuation part. Please listen carefully to this part and watch till the end. Insurance business is valued based on the embedded value. Embedded value is the addition of present value of future profits plus net worth. Now, the LIC's embedded value at the end of March 2021, the present value of future profit of LIC is only 1 lakh crore rupees. But at the end of September 2021, it has increased to 5 lakh 47,000 crore rupees. This increase mainly due to the change in policy terms of profit share in non participating policy. Based on the future profit of uh, next 4 to 5 years present value increases the embedded value to 5 lakhs 39,000 crore rupees. If they didn't change the policy terms means then the embedded value will be 1 lakh 24,000 crore rupees. Valuation continue. At present, SPI Life and HDFC Life, which are the other life insurance providers in India, are trading around 2.9 and 4.2 times of embedded value respectively. One cannot consider LIC as same as SPI Life and HDFC Life since both of them are growth company whereas LIC is mature company. Allianz SE is the closest to life insurance company trading internationally with embedded value of 1.8 times and they are giving dividend of 5% annually. Now about LIC with the present profit of 2000 to 3000 crore rupees, there is no way LIC can pay that much of dividend percentage same as Allianz. As I mentioned earlier, LIC got 39 lakh crore rupees of assets under management, out of which policy holders owns 37.8 lakh rupees and shareholder only owns 51,000 crore rupees. 
But if everything goes good, then shareholder funds will increase to 85,000 crore rupees and 1.7 lakh crore rupees at the end of FI22 and 23 respectively. Considering all those, I valued LIC around 7 to 8 lakh crore rupees only. Based on my valuation, if the IPO price band is set to 1,100 rupees to 1,300 rupees, then it is worth to consider for investment. But I am expecting the government to release the IPO for 12 to 15 lakh crore rupees. It may be worth 3,000 rupees per share based on public demand like Tesla, but I don't have any formula to calculate it at present without listing it. I hope you got some useful information. Consider subscribing the channel. It will motivate me to do more. Finally, disclaimer. Thanks for watching.